Here's another form of fire making. This is using a uh, parabolic uh, surface to catch the sun's rays and focus it onto a focal point. Uh, this is called the, a solar lighter. You can actually get this on the internet and um, I believe Amazon.com sells these things. And uh, it's pretty simple to use. It, it basically will burn anything that's uh, combustible. Here I've got uh, some fungus here that catches on fire pretty fast. So just by putting it into this area over here to hold it and focusing the sun's rays on it, once the sun is focused on there, it basically will smolder pretty, pretty fast. There you go. So the par parabolic surface here basically focuses the sun's rays right on that tip over there. This fungus here will burn until it actually extinguishes itself into ashes. So I'm gonna put it out. Now if you don't have one of these solar lighters, another alternative is using a, a soda can or a beer can that has a rounded parabolic-like bottom. Now to get it into that mirror finish, because the, the bottoms usually have a sort of like a, a matted finish, just take some chocolate and rub it vigorously on the bottom until it shines up. It'll take a while to do that, or you can use toothpaste until you get that mirror-like finish on there. And using that as sort of like your parabolic lens, I've taken my fungus, wrapped a piece of grass around it so that I can hold it, and then just by focusing the sun's rays on, on there, you can get that thing lighted. You can see it's starting to smoke. One thing about the fungus is that once it's lighted, it will basically smolder for a long, long time until you literally dig it out to extinguish it. So you can see the fungus is lighted by this soda can. And then you take that if you want to blow it into a fire or make a fire, you put that in your tinder bundle and then blow it into a fire. So soda cans are great for fire making. Here's another method of making fire using a uh, plastic um, water bottle or soda bottle. It has to have sort of like a rounded area over here to form sort of like a lens. It's filled with water and right over here you can see that's a pretty much scattered focal point. It's almost like using a magnifying glass but by just moving it up and down you can see that the focal point is getting a lot more smaller and you can even get in, into pretty much like a hot spot right over there. So we're going to use some, some more of this fungus right here. And I've got a very small piece here that I'm going to stick right underneath here. And we're going to see if we can actually get that focal point right on that fungus there. You need a pretty good sunny day for this. And I'm going to have to adjust it just a little bit because it's not easy getting that one hot spot. There it is. It's starting to light just when I got it right in there. And now it's starting to smolder. So you have to get the right material for this. Uh, sometimes people will try and use char cloth, but it doesn't tend to work. You need something that is very, very airy. This fungus is pretty much... Uh, when you take that and crumble it, it basically will crumble into like a really fine, fine dust. And that's a really good tinder material right there. And that thing will smolder for a long time. And just by putting that, putting that in your tinder bundle, you can actually make a fire.